Welcome back, X Place Morgan Webb, everybody. <laughs> what do you got under there? Huh? What do you got under there? Pasties under there? Nothing? What? Oh, am I rock? Is it? Can we get some ice cubes? Is that what? I want. I want. You want to see? No pasties. No pasties. What? Oh, I'm disappointed. We can get. Uh, we can get the tassels from Biden if you want to put on a show. No, you're putting on the I can, show. Yeah, I mean, I'll spin them around. Don't All worry. Right. I got it. That's uh, awesome. Well, let yes. me, I'll tell you what. But first, let's talk mag. All and right. And then we'll get me half naked. Uh, massive action game. I guess we are talking about me. Hello. Uh, <laughs> it's not you are massive. Just full of okay. Um, um, okay. It so had a heard, lot of hype at last year's E3. You know, we heard, first heard about the game, and they said 256 multiplayer on Sony's console, mm -hmm. and everybody. The audience is like, <laughs> yeah. It's like you can find 256 people with a PlayStation 3. Hello. <laughs> I mean, come well, on. They're on there, but nobody has a headset. Okay, no, yeah. people have headsets on Mag. 256 player action. Once you get to level 8, then you get to be on these huge multiplayer maps. You mm -hmm. play in a squad of 8, so you're not just running around the map commando stuff. Right. Your squad leader gives you objectives, and then the Entire sort of army commander also gives objectives to the squad leaders. So whoever's That's ranked up most on a team, they they can sort of take control, direct the squad, right. say we need you to attack this point here or defend right. this. Um, is there a benefit to actually working with your squad though? Yes, taking objectives like that your squad is supposed to do will give you experience. Also, will give you experience, of course, killing other players. Mm -hmm. um, also, will give you experience is healing other players, resurrecting other players. Okay, all right. So there's a couple different ways to earn some XP in this one. Um, right. If you stick with your teammates though, you, I heard you get like faster reloads and you can get bonuses or resistance to. Damage There's stuff. perks. Um, a little bit of a problem with this game is you're not necessarily punished enough for going commando. But on the other hand, running by yourself into an empty part of the map and not that and getting shot immediately. Yeah. Not, it sort of not negates. That look fun. at all those people that I don't want to play with. I'm just right. going to run over here and go prone yeah. in a bush and hang out for a while. Not not that yeah. fun. And plus, if you want to just totally go commando, there's other games that you can sure, do that in. You sure. Know. And I think um, I, I think the, the net code, I, I got to applaud them, because what little I played of this, um, man, it ran smooth, it ran Absolutely. solid, lots of people running around, and it felt like I was never, oh, this is laggy or glitchy. Like, they did a really good job of that. Not the prettiest game in the entire world. No, no, not but, the prettiest. But it, it's not bad. It gets the you job I mean? done. It gets the job done. You know that you're in a space, and you know that there's towers and things. But it, it totally gets the job yeah, done. It, it communicates the notion of buildings to of you building. very well. Like uh, that yeah, looks okay, like a fine. structure, and that looks like a bush. That wasn't a very <laughs> well uh, done graphic that designer. That wasn't that a very strong compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a video no, look, game. It, it's a very pretty game. But here's <laughs> yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. You, you have to. You have to go. Okay. It, despite the the MMO appeal of this, the twist of too many players running around the map. Will Call of Duty fans enjoy this, or should people switch from a Call of Duty to play Mag? I think there is a certain kind of player who's really going to like Mag, mm -hmm. and that is going to be the really high squad-based, very tactical player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it, if you've got the Rambo complex, don't sign up because this one's all about working with your friends and finding a good squad. Exactly, and, mm -hmm. I, and I think there is a good place for this game in sort of the canon. Great. A lot of people are going to look at it and be like, "Why isn't this any better than you know? Why should I buy this? I already have Modern Warfare." Sure. If Modern Warfare is making you very happy, then stick with it. But you know, there's room for more than one game in the world. There, there is, there is. Uh, <laughs> no single player experience. We no should point out. No single player at all. Whatsoever. Which does make the learning curve a little steep because you know yeah. you're running in and you're like, "Oh, I'm dead." What the hell was yeah. that? But that, that oh, that's, that's me playing any first-person shooter, though, so it's, that's all right. What is X-Play giving this game? We what did you guys give Mag? this game a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5? Not yeah. bad at all. And our review is up online, so if you want to read more about it and get a little bit more, you can do that. Sure. Go there. All right. Morgan Webb, as always, thank you for joining us. Pasties. Hey. Right, let's get the, get the pasties going, Mag, for the PS3's in-stores now. Attack's going to respawn with Olivia, so check this out. Like what I...